The situation is rapidly evolving. There have now been rather high levels of radiation dose reported at various locations within the plant. The levels jump up and then they come down. So they're not maintaining themselves at a very high level, but they do jump up to a high level. Those high levels of radiation are dangerous to the workers and of great concern. Uh, this is one of the reason that uh, the limits for the workers has been increased. During normal operation, the uh, limit for radiation worker exposure is five. However, under extraordinary emergency situations, workers are allowed doses of 25. Uh, the Japanese have announced that they are going up to that level of 25. To maintain worker doses below 25, there are a number of standard radiation safety practices and principles that can be applied. These certainly were applied at Three Mile Island in the United States, which kept worker doses acceptably low. There have been scattered reports that the background radiation in Tokyo and other places has jumped up and the reports I've heard were as high as 10 times normal background. However, these levels were not maintained at uh, those amounts. Um, this would imply that a cloud or some other release passed over. If the uh, rate of exposure is 10 times background at a point, to get any significant dose there would have to be a person remaining at that point for a long time and the dose rate would have to remain very high, which these are just spiking up and down of doses. Also, when we talk about background, it's the average background radiation across the planet. Um, within various locations on the Earth's surface, background may be 10 times uh, the background in other locations. At the current time, there have been no significant exposures to members of the Japanese population. 